have some stuff that I need to put out and hopefully by the time you see this I have put it out I have some footage that needs to be edited and uploaded probably about two maybe five enough for five videos hopefully by the time you see this one that's already out um, but it's Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to work. A little later than usual. Usual, but I just went back yesterday from after being off for about ten days or so, and um, so I was there late. And hopefully, I won't be there as late today. But hopefully, I won't be interrupted as much today. I was hoping to have yesterday to get back and get acclimated, but. Um, I don't want to say acclimated, get, start getting caught up and take and do a lot of things I need needed to do, need to do. Um, but you know, other people I think don't think about that when it's not them that's coming back from a break. It's easy to think that way when it is you, but um, sometimes. Um, People don't think about that for the other person, you know, when it's someone else. And so there was, there's a constant, you know, can I see, you? do you have time? Can you do this? Can you, you know, can we, just a constant that. And, and as much as you want to be able to help everyone or talk to them about whatever it is they need to, need to discuss, you know, you have things to do, but you try not to be rude or anything or dismissive or just try to a lot time to be able to do that but then it, it can bite you in the butt it just really can anyway that was more than I really wanted to say about that right now um but basically my second day back after being out on vacay and uh I'll work tomorrow and then I'm off again for a few days and um yeah, so I don't even know if I said the date. I know I said it's Wednesday. It's March 15th. And um, my daughter and I are still on tour for her birthday, even though I'm back at work. She's back at school. Spring break was last week, and I was on vacation. Um, my son and his girlfriend have been here uh, for the first weekend of that. Um, primarily here for a wedding, but, you know, we, of course, we got to see them some. They started their, had their first episode of their podcast, Urban Report Card. Um, I think it's available on Spotify and Apple, so make sure you check them out. I believe they air on Mondays, Mondays, and um, so this past Monday was the first one, so again, make sure you check them out. I think you'll like it. Um, I hope you do. And I am arriving to work a little later than usual. I mean, it's 7.59. It's 30 degrees outside, so it did go up one degree since I left the house. Um, last week or so, we finally started having our winter after having basically almost a whole month of spring in February. You know, in the 70s, 60s to 70s, um, sometimes upper 70s, just very nice weather during February, and now we're having February weather. What kind of bird is that? I don't recognize it. But, uh, I'm going here. I didn't bring lunch. I have breakfast, no lunch. We'll see how that goes today. I don't know. But yeah, from the background, like I said, I'm in the car. I got my car back on March 2nd after dropping it off the Monday before Thanksgiving. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible service. That is ridiculous. They didn't have a loaner. So, I have had the expense of having to have another way to 
um, get around during that time. And they needlessly, it wasn't necessary for them to keep my car that long. So I do have an issue with them over this. And um, we'll see how that goes because I can't let this go. I cannot. And they wonder why people don't like to use them. No, they don't have a great reputation. Well, the sales department definitely does. And the service department didn't for a while. It's better, but um, only because the service manager that was over um, one of the service departments in another city close to us uh, moved here to, to be over this one. So a lot of people followed him because he had a great rep reputation at the other dealership. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm very, I am so not happy with the way this went. But um, I'm at work. I'm going to go in and get started because, like I said, I do have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. And uh, I don't want to be here as late as I was last night. So you know, I'll catch up with you guys later. everybody good morning happy monday it's um april 3rd <laughs> it's april 3rd and we are in charlotte north carolina um we came up for uh john b chris the comedian for his show last night he had two shows saturday and sunday and um, we went to the sunday night show and the show was good he I love him on Instagram and stuff, 
but in person he was not as funny um the show started out great uh his opener caleb elliott everybody look him up this little young guy he's a gen zer um but his name is caleb elliott he was hilarious hilarious larry no he was hilarious that young man that young guy was so funny i mean funny so his set, of course, was the shortest because he was the opener, but he was great. He was by far the best act. Even in the crowd, you could hear a consensus of people just was like, oh, you know, after it was over, people were just talking about him and talking about him. And um, so, yeah, I want to go see him in, at like the Comedy Zone or somewhere so that the whole set is his and I get the, you know, you get to have more time with him telling the jokes, so going to stand up. Um, the next guy was Derek Stroop. Was not as funny as Caleb, but he was funny. You know, he, he definitely had his moments. He's originally, I think, from Alabama, but he lives in Denver. Um, Caleb is originally from, like, Pinehurst, North Carolina, somewhere, some kind of uh, little uh, ritzy community or, you know, whatnot, money area. Um, but uh, he's so funny. Um, but the Derek Stroop guy, he was he was funny. Like I said, not as funny as Caleb, but you know, funny. And I say this to say that then John came out, who you know everybody was really really waiting on, and he just wasn't. Um, it wasn't giving what you get when you uh, are watching the videos and things like that, or the clips from his stand up on, line, which of course you can edit to be how you want, but. It just didn't give that. I'm glad I got to see him live. Um, would I pay to go see him live again? I don't, I'm still gonna follow him on Instagram. That stuff is funny, but I would not pay to go see him again live. I didn't get enough out of it. Um, one thing, he's very, he talks extremely fast on stage. And so a lot of it gets, words get um, jarbled or whatever together or mixed up um, and he is very um he does this little thing with the, you know my aunt Phyllis oh, what are we doing now? and then it's like every couple of minutes for some reason or in describing something you know my sister was on the text and she's like oh do the end do that <laughs> I can't believe I'm jumping, showing you, but I want you to understand. There's just a lot of that, and like he'll be telling a joke. He's like, you know, we're in the group chat and we're doing all this, and then my one sister from such and such, she's like, oh, John, please give me anything more. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then he's in there, and we'll go from my other sister, and she says, oh, no, no, no. And there's only you do that. It's very slapstick. I'm just telling you, it's very slapstick. Um, one of the other parts I did. So the show started here, and I won't say it ended here, but it started here, and it just did this diagonal to here, and then it came back up to about right here. And the only reason I said came back up right there is because after each of them do their set, they all three come out and they do. Um, they do a little mini set and it's like them talking and interacting with the audience and stuff. You've seen some clips of that if you follow them on Instagram and all. So they do that at the end of every show. So the show went, started here, diagonal down like across the tic-tac-toe board and then came back up to the middle row and all. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he, John B. Chris was awful or terrible it just was, again, I would not, had I known before, had I watched this special from last year like I had been intending on doing, I probably would have known not to buy tickets to go see him. But on the flip side, I am glad I did because we found out about Caleb. I have to see him again. Caleb Elliott have to see him again and like I said Derek Stroop wasn't awful not as good as Caleb still his set was better than John's 
and um, I he picked good guys to open for him, but then it makes it because they're good, so your audience entertained. But at the same time, then if you don't come out and bring it, then it's like the show goes down. I wish Caleb had a longer set. I really, really, really do. I really do. He needs to consider that. But anyway, so we came up for that show. Um, Charlotte Shout started on Friday. We didn't really go do any Charlotte Shout things this weekend because one, they have bad weather. So a lot of things got, um, the outside things, a lot of them got pushed back. And then by the time we arrived and trying to go get, get checked in, go get food um, and things like that, we ran out of time to do anything yesterday. So, and today we've just been chilling around the hotel. I mean, we came back to the hotel after um, the show last night and we went to the restaurant on site and it's called Q Tavern, I believe. And so we went there and ate and um, after that, then we went out to the fire pit area by the pool, near the pool. And you'll see it, I'll insert the picture. Right there, right there. And we sat out there till like a little after 11. Um, the area closes at 11, so it was probably just like five after when we got out of there, five after 11. Um, the bar closed at 11. And I'm trying to think. The show was done. It started at seven, and it was over at nine. And I mean, it started on time, and it ended on time. It was two hours. And um, at the show, we we bought. We had uh, my daughter had a crayon and crown, crayon and crown. I had a, a glass of Moscato. That's the only thing we got. We got those before we went to our seats. And um, that was the only thing we bought there. Uh, before we went there, when we left the hotel, like I said, we needed to eat. So we went to this place called Optimus Hall, I believe it is. And it's basically, if you saw one of my other videos, I had this place called a Gather or Gather Greenville. And it's where it's just a lot of different restaurants and and um, what well, gathered, all it is is a lot of different restaurants and they'll have live entertainment and stuff like that. This place is like that, but they also have shops and it's indoor and outdoor. And uh, just a real cool, uh, I'm gonna start calling stuff like that free form because you'll see every kind of fashion sense or fashion style every kind of you see families you see singles you see guys you know girls uh, every community or demographic or of people will be there and everybody's cool so it's a really free form place I like that yeah so it's free form and um, and so everybody's comfortable um, oh God, we were sitting out eating and we decided to eat out on, on one of the like um, decks under a covered deck and this guy, this group of people, it was some guys and women and uh, I don't know what happened but all of a sudden you heard a big crash and they were just a table over from us and one of the guys had fallen over on his bench, it had turned over and he fell on the concrete and against a pole. But y'all, his they were so loud and extra the whole crowd. You would thought you would have thought they were adolescents, but clearly were not. I mean clearly were not. They weren't even young adults. But the way they the way they carried on was like they were college kids or whatever. And just the language the language, um, the loudness like look at us look at us just talking loud for it. and it didn't fit even though the place is free for them, it didn't fit the vibe of the place because everyone else seems to be respectful of others now they were we were sitting here they were catty corner to us and at that table and there was a table right 
in front of us. At that table was a man and his kids, and um, all young kids, maybe like five of them, and up to like from maybe from like six to teenage teenagers, and um, and they were just like, especially the guy that that fell or whatever, his language, and uh, oh yeah, just bad. And finally, this guy who was huge, maybe. Six five, six five, two ninety, big dude. He finally said something to him about the language, and it's like, look, I got kids over here, but nowhere else in this big place. We went around the whole thing and whatnot, most of it, and um, there was nothing else like that going on anywhere else. While whenever we were in different areas, it just did not fit. You know, but anyway, the guy when he fell, he was okay. His pride was hurt. I think that was probably what made him be extra loud and whatever. But um, so we did that. Left from there to go to the venue for the show. Um, drinks there were higher than in the venue. A mixed drink there was like twelve dollars at one of the places we looked. We stopped at. Um, at the show, they were nine fifty. So I think wine was about the same. But anyway, did that and uh, came back, like I said, went to the restaurant here, then went to the sat in the fire pit area for like an hour, maybe 45 minutes. And then came up to the room, um, worked on some things, watched some crime shows and whatnot, and knocked out. You know, took our showers and all that kind of good stuff, typical stuff. But um, not that you need me to detail that, you know what people do. But it's myself and my daughter that are here. And um, so it's 11.19 right now. Like I said, Monday morning. Um, we are not going to do any Charlotte shop, shop stuff. We're saving that for next weekend because we'll be back next weekend. We have um, tickets to, because remember we're on tour in 2023 and um so our next show is Masego Masego and it's a week from, well it's in six days yeah six days she's looking at me like I'm crazy she just came back from downstairs that's the story and she's sticking to it so uh, we had some just little spontaneous entertainment our view across the street is actually the courthouse as far as we can tell so we're able to see judges when they're uh, in their office and they get up, I guess, to go to court for a session and put on their robes and all this kind of stuff because it's all windows. And uh, we can see the different bailiffs and cops and everything doing stuff up and down the hallways. But, um, so that's been entertaining. We've tried to get their attention at times. Just, just stuff, you know. But anyway, yeah, she's been she's been studying, but she stopped for that intermission. And we do have some leftovers, which I'm glad she finally just took one out because I want to get a bite or two myself from last night. So we didn't go down for breakfast. Breakfast was included with our room. We're staying at the um, Fairfield Inn and Suites Uptown on the corner of McDowell and Fourth, I believe. Um, and the last time we were here, we stayed probably two blocks down, three blocks down the road at a Sheraton that was trash overall. Overall, because we had the incident with the restaurant that you never got your money back. Oh yeah. And all, we had that. We had the stale food, the stale chips and stuff out of the little store. Yeah. Um, the decor needed to be updated. It had a presence, like if you look from a distance, or took, somebody took pictures from a distance, it might look attractive, but when you actually got in it, it was different. And, uh, but um, I think that's when we were here for Kendrick, for the Kendrick concert, and my son flew in. And um, he flew directly here, right? Yeah, we picked him up at the airport here. And, uh, so. But you know, overall, between ourselves, we had a good time. And then 
We had um, one of our cousins from Greenville and cousin that lived here came over and stuff. So overall, it was good. But as far as the property itself that we stayed in, um, it and for the price, where we're at now actually was less than what we paid to stay there. And even though this one could use some updating, overall, it's still better. <laughs> It is, it's still better. So next time, cause we should have done it this time. We had said when we come back, we we're gonna stay at Embassy Suites. Um, it was about two blocks up, about two blocks up because it seemed really nice. And, uh, but we had forgot about it until we wrote by it again this time. But we found a new place that we're gonna probably stay at next weekend. We have to see how close it is to the venue, but, um, Everything works out, we'll stay there next weekend and then we'll give you guys a tour and a review of that because, like I said, it's a brand new property and um, a new brand period that we haven't heard of before and um, we want to try them out and their rates are really good. So we'll talk about that next time in a week or so. And I guess that's it for right now. Bye! It's not it.